Hey, in this video, we're going to look at how you can take a default Photoshop brush and make it an excellent shading brush that you can also use as a pencil brush. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's first start off with the soft round pressure opacity brush and let's make sure that we're using black as our foreground color. So when we go ahead and work with this, you can see that right now I've got this pencil brush set to roughly about 60%. I'll just crank it up to 100%. This is what it looks like by default. So here's where the magic comes in. We're first of all gonna go ahead and change the mode to dissolve. When we do that, we get this nice grain. And right now when we go ahead and paint with this, we can see that it's laying down a pretty even coat of black. So what we really want to do now is we want to go ahead and drop the opacity to a level that's relatively small. So I'm going to say say 29%. Let's just try that out. And as I go ahead and continue to work with this shader, as I continue to work it in, you can see that I'm going from light to dark, right? And this is really cool because if I were to lower the brush size even smaller, I can use this as a pencil brush, right? A sketching brush. So it's definitely something that I would give you, uh, you know, the go ahead on trying out. It works really great as not only a pencil brush, but also works great as a shading tool. I typically just start out with black, but you can certainly use whatever color you wish. And again, I'm using the brush size here to go ahead and constrain the size of the brush and you get this really nice even coat and for these extra edges here that you don't like you can always come back in with a lasso tool and just clean things up so it's a really quick tip but I think it's something that's going to make a huge difference in terms of shading and best of all you don't have to buy a fancy schmancy brush in order to be able to create a good shader so I hope you found this super fast tip to be very useful let me know in the comments below. I look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.